Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here, and today we're going to be talking about the $1,200 stimulus check that as of last week, the government started giving out to everyone. To summarize, if you've been living under a rock, if you made $75,000 or less as an individual, you'll be eligible to receive this $1,200 stimulus check. With this income, they're going off your most recent tax returns. If you didn't file your 2019 taxes yet, they're gonna go off your 2018 taxes. I've seen a lot of people asking, oh, what should I do with this $1,200? How should I invest in myself? And that is why we're here today. We're gonna to go over 10 different ways to use this money in 10 different price ranges in order to invest in yourself. Before you get any crazy ideas, the first thing you should do with this $1,200 is pay off your bills. Anything that is very important, such as like your mortgage, your rent, your car payment, high interest credit card debt. You definitely wanna get that out of the way. It's gonna help with your credit and boost your credit score. Two, if you, let's say you paid all your bills, you definitely wanna put this in a savings account and save it for a rainy day. Believe it or not, most people don't even have $1,000 saved up for an emergency. So you always wanna be prepared for an emergency. Now, let's say you paid off all your bills and you have enough money uh, stashed away in your savings for a rainy day emergency fund. Now is a time to where you should explore ideas and different ways to use this money to invest in yourself. Now, when I say invest in yourself, I mean one of the three things. One is that it's gonna make you more money. Two is that it's gonna help you learn or gain knowledge about something. Or three, fitness. I know what you're thinking. Some people aren't really up on board with the fitness thing. For me, my opinion, I truly believe that fitness is a good way of keeping yourself sharp up here, as well as you know, staying busy, staying productive, especially during times like now. Before we start, I'm, I am gonna say that I'm going to exclude stocks. I just believe that stocks, there's so many of them and they can range from penny stocks to thousands of dollars for each stock. And right now the market is so volatile that I, I don't feel confident in giving anyone solid advice. And after all, I'm just a real estate broker, so what do I know? Now I do wanna say that this list is nowhere near mind blowing or anything that is very innovative. These are just 10 simple things that I feel would be using your money and putting it to good use and not just you know spending it on a Gucci belt or Gucci shoes or anything stupid that you don't need. And for all the items that I'm talking about, I'm gonna provide a link in the description. So if you wanna buy it, go ahead and click that link and you'll be able to buy it. But yeah, let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is hit the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and all the fancy stuff that I don't understand. No, but really though, first on our list at $5, you could use that money and buy this. I know what you're thinking, what the hell, spam? But I've been reading a lot that all over the country there's a shortage of spam. What I first thought was that you could buy spam for $5 and then you could put it on Amazon and you could sell it for double the price. Or another thing you do is buy a can of spam for $5, cut it up into small pieces and make a treat called a musubi, sell it for a dollar or a dollar fifty or whatever. It doesn't have to be spam. You could buy brownie mix, cookie mix, whatever. You could buy that for a very affordable price, make something, and then you could sell it individual and make profit. Here's one of those examples. Uh, one of my friends, Rachel, she has a chocolate strawberry business. And if you look, you know, I'm pretty sure you could buy all these materials and ingredients for very cheap. And yeah, I mean, you could make something super nice. I mean, look at all this. It's so, so nice. And it looks so good. Oh, that, that looks so nice. <laughs> so he, this is a great example of how you can use, oh, wow, that, that's so good. Very creative and very entrepreneurial. And I give her so much props. So you should do the same thing. It's very entrepreneurial. And I believe if $5 was all I had and I was very bored and I wasn't doing anything in the house, that's something I would definitely do. All right, number two on our list for $15 would be buy a book. One book specifically that I'm gonna talk about is called 12 Week Year. This book really helped me as an entrepreneur and as a real estate agent. And if you're like me, you don't like reading, you could subscribe to Audible, which is $15. And you could buy the audiobook and listen to it. I listened to it in a day and I learned so much in such a short time compared to reading it. Number three, at $30, I'm going to say a yoga mat. I know what you're thinking, a yoga mat, but like I said, I'm very into fitness and I believe it helps me stay focused. Since we can't get access to the gym, I went and bought a yoga mat. Now, I'm not the person to buy the most cheapest yoga mat out there. I do believe that you pay for quality, but then again, I'm not the same person that would spend like $120 on a yoga mat. So the one I got was $60, it was really nice. You know, it gets the job done and I'm able to do my workouts. 
Number four at $100, I like this one. You could use this money to buy a sewing machine, which ranges in price, and you could buy clothing material. You could use these two things and make masks. I've seen a lot of people who are making their own masks and they're selling it to make money, or even better, they're donating it to hospitals because I'm seeing everywhere, a lot of hospitals are running out of masks. One of my friends here in Hawaii, his name is Lance, he's making masks in bulk and he's selling it and he's also donating it to hospitals. So really good for him and I encourage you to do the same thing as well. All right, number five on the list from $150 to $250. This is fitness related, you could buy a Fitbit. Now, it doesn't have to be this much, there's so many Fitbits ranging to even $25, but this one seemed you know, in the right range that it was a really nice quality. If you really are into techie stuff and into fit techie stuff, uh, Fitbit, uh, link below, would be a really good recommendation to keep track of all your progress while we are doing this quarantine. Number six on our list would be the $300 to $450 range. This, you could spend this money and buy an online course or hire a coach. I'm gonna use YouTube and real estate as an example. There's tons of people who are offering real estate courses or you know coaching. One in particular is Brian Buffini. He offers coaching and he has a real estate course. I actually bought this course last year and it really helped me become a better real estate agent. Now for YouTube, I know a lot of people. One guy in particular, Graham Stephan, he's one of my favorite YouTube people. He actually has his own course in how to make a really great YouTube career and how to get more views, more subscribers, etc. Another YouTube course is Think Media. I've been learning a lot of YouTube strategies through that channel and they also offer a YouTube course. Number seven on this list is actually my personal favorite. For $500, you could enroll into a real estate class. You can do it online or you could do it in person. Now, right now, I feel like we're only allowed to do online. So if you're interested in getting into the business of real estate, I definitely suggest spending that $500 and enrolling into schooling. All right, next on our list for the $750 range, you could get certified as a personal trainer. This is something that one of my friends who's also into fitness, they recommended. You can get certified at acefitness.org. It's a website that stands for American Council on Exercise. As you guys know, you know, I'm really big into exercise and all that. And I have a lot of friends that are really into fitness and some actually that are personal trainers. So if that's something you want to get into and if that's a passion of yours, definitely recommend using this time and using that money to invest in yourself to enroll into getting certified as a personal trainer. Uh, next on our list in the thousand dollar range, you could build a home gym. I know right now because gyms are closed, all you have is, you know, yourself, literally. You know, I did suggest doing body workouts and, you know, with the yoga mat. However, some people aren't satisfied with just the yoga mat and doing body workouts and they need weights. I've been seeing a lot on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace that people are really dying to buy weights and they can't just do a regular workout by themselves. So if you're really into fitness and you wanna build your home gym, there's some links below to some gym equipment. However, if you notice that some of this gym equipment will take very long to ship, at least for Hawaii, it's gonna take a month and a half, a couple, I don't know. But if you live in a place where it can ship to you very fast, then I recommend it. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to wait. One piece of gym equipment that I do wanna talk about is uh, booty bands or sloth bands. It's owned by one of my friends, Justin. He owns these bands and he does a lot of training. You can find his website here at slothbands.com. Uh, you can go to the catalog and you'll find the uh, resistant bands. But uh, everyone I know here in Hawaii has been buying these bands and they're selling out everywhere. And I think he did a really good job of you know promoting this product and marketing it. And I really admire him for that. So good job and uh, check it out. And then finally, number 10 on this list for $1,200, you could use your entire check and invest it in YouTube equipment. Below, I put some links of all the equipment that I bought. Currently, I'm not using this equipment because it's taking forever to ship. If you're into some sort of passion, whether it's real estate or finances or anything like that, and you wanna put it on YouTube, I definitely recommend uh, doing that and you wanna invest in your equipment and having good equipment, I believe, will just help you get started. And don't forget YouTube monetizes it. So if you keep it consistent and keep going and making videos like what I'm doing, then eventually you'll get to that level where you will be a quote unquote YouTube content creator. So there you have it. That is the whole entire list. Like I said, it's nothing mind blowing, very simple, but it was just ways that I believe that you could use this money and put it to good use. Again, I'd rather be putting it in these things rather than blowing it all on stupid stuff that you don't need.
and what do I know? I'm just a 26 year old real estate broker. So if you like the video, can you please press the subscribe button? I'm gonna be making more videos about real estate, about finances, and about what's going on in the world, as well as going to a lot of nice homes here in Hawaii.